Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Israelites, when you are on fire for the Most High and you made up your mind to serve the Most High in the spirit and in the truth, in addition, you are asking the Most High to give you back the years the kingdom of darkness have stolen from you. Your faith back with your works will cause major disruption in the kingdom of darkness. The unclean spirits and workers of iniquity will suffer spiritual injuries. When an Israelite exercised great faith in the Most High, the injuries the unclean spirits and workers of iniquity receive are severe. Because their injuries are so severe, the unclean spirits have no choice but to flee. As long as you maintain your stance in serving the Most High, you will maintain your deliverance, and the unclean spirits will keep their distance. The scripture said when we submit to Yah and resist the devils, the unclean spirits have no choice but to flee. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Due to your decision to fight back and take control over your life, the unclean spirits cannot operate in you. They are allergic to truth and cannot be in the presence of righteousness. When the Holy Spirit is dominant, your choices will correspond with the Most High's will for your life. Because Yah's Spirit is dwelling in you and is leading you, the kingdom of darkness is disabled and they cannot oppress you. The scripture said, what do light have in common with darkness? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Israelites, the kingdom of darkness needs you. Never believe the lies the kingdom of darkness whispered to you of not being important. The Most High requires every spirit to have a body or flesh to operate in the physical realm. If the unclean spirit that was cast out of a person cannot find a house, the unclean spirit will remain in dry places, being tormented until it find a new house or regain entry into its original house. Your human suit is shielding your spirit and give you the ability to operate in the physical realm. This is why the Most High sent Yahshua into the physical realm through the virgin birth. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Mary had to give birth to Yahshua in order for Yahshua to gain his human suit. When Yahshua received his human suit, he fulfilled the Most High's requirement of having flesh to operate in the physical realm. The same for the seed of the serpent. The fallen angels had to come into the daughters of men to give birth to a seed. The offspring of the serpent fulfilled the Most High's requirement of having flesh to operate in the physical realm. Not all who look human are human. Wake up, Israelites. This is what the tales of the original people and the hybrids is revealing to you. Just because it looks human, it does not conclude it is human. You have to understand the world you live in. If they genetically modify your food and create designer animals when the Most High is against it, what makes you think they have not tampered with humans? In the spirit realm, you do not need your human flesh. Therefore, when you are in the spirit realm, your body remains asleep in the physical realm. Ask the Most High to reveal more to you to help you understand the spirit realm and the physical realm. Spiritual injuries can result in a physical death to the workers of iniquity and torment to the unclean spirits. The scriptures reveal to us that the word of the Most High is powerful and alive. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. It will pierce the spirit and it is a discerner of the mind and thoughts. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Because the words of the Most High is alive, when you are reminding the Most High of His words, His words spring into action when the covenant is forged. The words will carry out what the Most High sent it to do. The Most High reserve harsh judgment for the wicked, for example, if you are under witchcraft attack and you remind the Most High of his words that say, I suffer not a witch to live. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. 
When you remind the Most High of his words and you are fasting and praying, whatever his words declare, that is what will transpire. The workers of iniquity afflicting you will receive spiritual injuries if he or she is unrepentant. A physical death will happen due to their wicked ways. The words of the Most High will cut you. Israelites, I hope you see the importance of using the words of the Most High when praying and engaging in warfare prayers. Recently, while spending time in the presence of the Most High, I asked the Most High, why do they afflict his channel, Open Diary? I could not understand why a channel that talks about the Bible, history, encourages the oppressed to have hope and building a solid relationship with the Most High is wrong. I expressed to the Most High how come the pastors of a different faith can post whatever they like and their videos are not taken down, their channels are not being flagged or shadow banned by YouTube. Whenever you notice views, comments, sharing, slow growth, and increase of dislike, that is YouTube shadow banning your channel. They are hiding the videos and not recommending your channel to potential new subscribers. That is their way of censoring channels that don't break their rules, but they dislike on their platform. I know the kingdom of darkness despise anything that glorifies the Most High. For some reason, I could not comprehend the hate. The Most High said they have to react this way because they are being wounded. Yah emphasized on the word wound. The wounds the synagogue of Satan endured during the awakening are extremely deep. In order for them to heal, they have to afflict the source to their injuries. Israelites, when you pray, believe it or not, every prayer wounds the unclean spirits and the workers of iniquity. Just because it appears as if nothing has happened after you pray, it does not conclude the Most High is not pleading your case behind the scenes. The more you pray, the more the unclean spirit loses its grip on you. If you are consistent, the kingdom of darkness will lose the stronghold it had on your life. That is what we call deliverance. The synagogue of Satan used censorship in defaming the awakening to heal its wounds. Israelites, you are not exempt from spiritual injuries. When you suffer spiritual injuries, you have to ask the Most High to heal you. These injuries can be fatal. Spiritual injuries is the result of your spirit being wounded. Remember, your spirit is the real you. If your spirit is injured, it will manifest in the flesh. There are different types of spiritual injuries, from being malnourished to being shot in the dream and waking up feeling the pain in the exact location you were shot at in the dream are spiritual injuries. When you begin to drift from the Most High, the kingdom of darkness used the opportunity to deceive you. The scripture said not to give Satan any opportunity. Neither give place to the devil. Every time you pray, you chip away at the hold the kingdom of darkness had on your life. Likewise, when you stop engaging in the activities that deliver you from the kingdom of darkness, the unclean spirits gain the opportunity to deceive you. They will slowly begin to take control of your life. The kingdom of darkness prefer to go unnoticed. A popular saying people use but do not take seriously, the greatest trick Satan used is to make you believe he does not exist. If people understood how the kingdom of darkness operate, they would not blame the person standing in front of them for their problems. Although it appears as if the person inflicting you is the cause, behind the scene there are devils influencing the person to do and say the things they say. There are many people being led by devils and they do not know. If you do not know the spirit of poverty is oppressing your life, you will never get to the root of the problem and the spirit of poverty continue to oppress your life. When you drift from the Most High, this causes you to operate in low vibration or in the flesh, which result in spiritual injuries and bondage. If we neglect our duties as the chosen people, we give the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to imprison our spirit. In addition, steal our heritage. The scripture said the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. When the unclean spirit flee, it will keep a safe distance from you. However, that devil is waiting for you to mess up to seize the opportunity to oppress you and gain his house back. One of the biggest mistakes Israelites make when they begin to achieve victory, they stop doing the works that led the Most High to deliver them. The scripture said we should pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Prayer and fasting is the key to deliverance and a part of any serious Israelites routine. Prayer is your altar and fasting is the sacrifice. The Most High said whenever we build an altar to him, he will visit the altar and bring blessings. 
an altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, and thy peace offerings, thy sheep, and thine oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. Israelites, praying is communicating with the Most High. If you're not praying, then you are not communicating with the Most High, nor spending time in His presence. This kind of behavior will cause you to operate in the flesh. The kingdom of darkness want you to operate in the flesh. That way they can dominate your life and cause you to become stagnant. When you operate in the flesh, you cannot please the Most High. The kingdom of darkness will continue to afflict you until you have completely drift from the Most High. The same way when you pray and every prayer wounds the unclean spirit until it flee, the kingdom of darkness will afflict you at every opportunity until it break the protection you have with the Most High. Remember, Israelites, the Most High will protect the righteous. When you are protected by the Most High, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. The battle belongs to Yah and He will fight for you. When you stop engaging in the activities that built your spirit, the Most High will send you warnings. If you do not take heed to his warnings, you will suffer the consequences of whatever the iniquity brings. Not only will you suffer spiritual injuries, the Most High will not plead your case. Remember, sin separate us from our Elohim. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. When you are operating in low vibrations or the flesh, your destiny is at risk and your life is at risk. This is why it is important to the kingdom of darkness to remove you from the protection of the Most High. I want to share a few situations that will help you discern if you're drifting and operating in low vibrations. A subtle way Satan deceive you when you find yourself tired all the time, even after sleeping eight hours a day. An unclean spirit is draining your energy. Draining your energy is a way Satan get you to let your guard down. The scriptures inform us to be alert because Satan prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. If you are tired, you cannot be alert. Another symptom that would reveal that you are drifting from the Most High and have occurred spiritual injuries, the dreams that stems from the kingdom of darkness begin to increase. In addition, your spirit is not resisting the devils. This is a good indicator that the kingdom of darkness have a stronghold on your life. You would have to feed your spirit with the word of the Most High to build up your spirit. The scripture said, we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of Yah. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High speak to us by dreams, a sign that you are drifting and operating in the flesh when you begin to forget your dreams. This is extremely important because you do not know what is happening to your spirit. As a result, you are suffering from multiple injuries. This is a dangerous place to be. The workers of iniquity are abusing your spirit and holding your spirit captive. The worst kind of bondage is spiritual imprisonment. Spiritual injuries are real Israelites. You endure spiritual injuries when iniquity is found in you. Most of us receive spiritual injuries when we drift from the Most High and operating in the flesh. Self-inflicting injuries happen when we do not listen to the Most High. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. When you complain more than praising the Most High, that is an indicator that you have drifted from the Most High and operating in the flesh. The Most High seek to be praised by His people. If you're not praising the Most High, then you have lost the vision the Most High gave you. A negative mind stems from the kingdom of darkness. If you cannot look past what's in front of you, then you have lost your way. The scripture said we live by faith and not by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Complaining set you back and caused the wrath of Yah to come upon you. Remember, it is the unseen things that are eternal, not the seen. The Most High cannot stand those who complain. It's one thing to express how you feel. It is another story when the Most High is providing and you cannot discern. The kingdom of darkness will make you blame the Most High for your problems instead of getting to the root. 
which is the unseen devil oppressing you, complaining, blind you from seeing the Most High sovereignty. When the Most High delivered the Israelites out of the Egyptian bondage, the Israelites could not look past their present situation. They spend most of their time complaining, then praising the Most High for delivering them. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. Complaining bring forth the wrath of Yah upon your life. Israelites, when you find yourself complaining more than usual, then you are operating in the flesh on low vibrations. The signs discussed in this message are some of the ways you can discern if you have drifted from the Most High and operating in low vibrations. There are many other indicators. The kingdom of darkness will take advantage of you if you do not know how to fight back to maintain your deliverance. In addition, operating in the flesh on low vibration gives the kingdom of darkness the opportunity to establish covenants and replace every stronghold the kingdom of darkness had on your life. It is important, Israelites, to continue to seek the Most High. Most of you spend days, weeks, and months fasting and praying to break free from bondage. You have come too far to throw it away now. Do not let the kingdom of darkness deceive you into believing once you break free from oppression, you do not need to pray and fast. Maintaining deliverance is the stage many Israelites fail and return to bondage. You must continue to pray and fast as if you were not delivered to maintain your deliverance. You have to seek the Most High and spend countless hours in His presence. That is how you maintain your deliverance. Remember, the scripture said, do not give the kingdom of darkness any opportunity. They will take advantage of the opportunity you give them. If you're not careful, they will successfully place you back into bondage again. Israelites, beware of operating in low vibrations. Walking in the flesh is a silent destiny killer. By the time most people realize they have drifted, they need to seek deliverance again. Spiritual injuries can take time to heal. You have to give the Most High time to heal you from your injuries. Once the Most High heal you, make sure you remain loyal to continue to increase and succeed in your spiritual journey. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness.